Welcome back, Theme Park Wizard, and today we have another construction update thanks to Mice Chat doing some awesome overhead aerial photos over the Christmas break. I want to start off here on Main Street, looking all pretty and empty, unfortunately. The fortune it's not even open. Like Buena Vista Street, we can't go shopping here and just walk along Main Street. Terrible, terrible. So sad. Uh, seven months or nine months now. Actually, more. Um, very sad. But hopefully, or definitely next year, we'll be walking right here on Main Street. But Main Street's looking nice. All the refer all the refurbishments are done. As you can see, social distancing mar social distancing markers are are um, laid out on the ground there, in preparation for our arrival next year. And uh, looking great. It looks things are painted. Looks fantastic. Moving over to Tomorrowland, you can see the French the French fry rocks, of course, have been demolished, as we noted in our, the last update. The beautiful Sleeping Beauty Castle looks beautiful and blue as well. The paint job is amazing. Of course, it's all getting rained on right now. But looks like the the project has stalled again, as there's still the construction box over the the equipment for Astro Orbiter and there's no um, sign of progress on the the new Tomorrowland entryway so hopefully that gets started though next year. Moving on to Fantasyland as you can see Snow White scaffolding is all done and the paint job is complete. I'll put a link on the top right corner if you want to see what that video is going to or what the new ride's going to look like. Disney released a brand new uh, video that shows some new scenes from the ride and look fantastic, especially with some awesome projection mapping. Again, I'll link that in the top right corner of this video. Carousel still has some, um, some scrims up, but the uh, canopy is still nice and blue, repainted, and looks very good. They're probably just finishing installing the horses and the other animals and benches that you can sit on and that should be an ready to go on opening day whenever that is same thing of course with snow white quick stop here at small world where they didn't get its small world holiday refurbishment but it looks like they still worked on the attraction a little bit as a my shot reported or, or noted that the flume looks uh bright much brighter than it did last year so maybe a small world got put probably got a nice little paint job instead of its uh got a mini refurbishment instead of its annual big refurbishment so that's nice it's still working on the attraction <laughs> something else will be an opening day attraction with snow white and hopefully the carousel will be haunted mansion as you can see the scrims are off the tombstones are um scattered or gone from the pet cemetery and back where they belong <laughs> the house looks beautiful and painted and it should be a great attraction. Again, it looks like it's ready to go right when uh, Disneyland reopens next year. So that's good. Moving on to the big projects of the resort. Mickey and Minnie's Runway Railway. First of all, I just can't believe how big this thing is. I mean, I know it's big in Hollywood Studios as well. But this thing here in Disneyland is like multiple stories. Two to three stories. And it's bigger I mean, lengthwise, it's as big as Toontown. Like, it literally spans the entire length of Toontown. Look at that. I mean, that's insane. Here's a closer look. I mean, it's just massive. And here's, again, that's about two warehouse stories. But if you were to divide that into, like, office floors or residential floors, that's about a four- to five-story building right there. It's a, it's a pretty decent size. At least about 50 to 60 feet right there. As you see, this is the side facing the freeway by TDA and the freeway again the five freeway and it's starting to be enclosed which is good that's major progress um, especially again because it's now finally getting to the rainy season here in Southern California so the more they can enclose the better here's another overhead look of we got some HVAC some HVAC the air conditioning units being installed on the top of the building as well and as you can see more of the facade is starting to be put up. I wonder what, uh, well, I guess on the freeway side, it'll just look like kind of like a warehouse. And then on the Toontown side, 
they'll probably put the mountains back up and they'll probably look much nicer than they did before. Hopefully they'll do the 3D mountains like on by Mickey's house. Moving over to California Adventure, we have a couple major updates here with Avengers Camp. It says, and see here's the, the thumbnail pictures coming up. But the Hyperion, I'm just so glad they got a, they gave it a paint job because it looks so cool and it really pops out. As you can see, it's really the most notice, noticeable thing in this picture as we look over Hollywood Land, which is still open, and Buena Vista Street. Moving over into uh, Avengers Campus, as you can see, this is this photo is mainly on the facade of what will be the new Avengers e-ticket attraction that's hopefully not canceled, and hopefully is not delayed too much, because um, everything's all ready to go. The, uh, you'll see the admin building is finished, as you'll see in a, couple, in a few minutes, and it's just all ready to go. All the preparation that has been um, established is gone, so hopefully they can fast track this project and make it a priority project when Avengers Campus opens. Because the Quinjet looks beautiful. This is a small gift shop, and the, again, the facade for the attraction, the trolley tracks go through there. It looks great. I can't wait for the stunt shows to happen next year as well. And of course, this is what I think is the coolest photo, one of the coolest photos of this update, and that is the Avengers logo reveal the bench on the Avengers Plaza right there and that is this is the main central hub of the campus as you can see to the north where the Avengers uh, e-ticket is supposed to be that's where the gates are and where the dirt lot is the Doctor Strange shows to the right and then the Hank Pym food factory or test kitchen to the left and the the um, outdoor seating areas are just about finished. Maybe some extra work needs to be done there, but it looks just about finished. The main building is definitely done, and you see the roof installed. Looks, looks again, ready to open with Spider-Man um, next year. Hopefully by March. Hopefully by March all this can open up. Because it looks like we'll, the whole land will be ready to open, and not just in phases, but the whole thing, which is awesome. Last but not least, we have, again, Preparation for the Avengers E-Ticket building. This two-story cast member building that now has some beautiful theming on it. It's themed to oh, I forgot the um, forgot the name, but it's it's from Cars 2 specifically. This I think it's a restaurant or this building is themed um, something from, uh, to a place from Cars 2. It looks great. A nice expansion of Cars and theming, but this building was built so that the green buildings in the back can be demolished providing more room for that big avengers e-ticket attraction which my chat described as a flying coaster i didn't get that impression from the d23 presentation it seemed like a simulator fight of passage type of thing but if it's a flying coaster then that's amazing and that definitely needs to be built but um let me know yeah let me know down below guys if you again my chat mentioned flying coaster that's the first i've ever heard of that um before it was officially revealed of course i am captain america or avengers launch coaster was in the rumored pipeline but i never heard a flying coaster for this particular area but again if it's true that would be amazing but even if it's that or the the e-ticket um, or the flight of passage system that's amazing too i just hope again i hope it gets fast tracked hope it gets fast tracked but um yeah but that's pretty much this update looks great the cast member building again on the other side it just looks like a generic warehouse off administrative administrative office type building but i'm glad the theming they themed the cars inside and it looks fantastic and will look even more fantastic when you're in line for Luigi's Rolling Roadsters and you can see the building and I'll be doing a photo or a video update uh, vlog when I can go and get there. But that's all for this update. What do you guys think? What is your favorite project over this uh, coming up to the Disneyland Resort and making minis or Avengers Campus? What are you excited to ride again? Are you excited that Haunted Mansion is finally done and ready for to go. Indiana, Indiana Jones was supposed to get a refurb this year. I've heard they went through with that, so hopefully Indy looks looks even better when we ride it next year. You excited for the new Snow White? 
Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. Like this, press a thumbs up if you like this video. And as always, have a fantastic day.